What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. It's finally here. I'm finally going to test a lithium charge controller. Now, what I consider a lithium charge controller is something that can work out of the box with pretty much any lithium battery that you want to connect it to. So here I have a lithium iron phosphate battery that I'm going to test this with. And this is actually an MPPT controller. Sorry, I should have mentioned that before, before I move on. So uh, it's a little bit more of an expensive, but much less expensive than, uh, say, the uh, Morning Stars or the uh, Outbacks or something like that. This product was generously provided by Genison or Blue Sky Energy. It's actually the same company. You've probably heard of uh, Blue Sky before, at least I had, but maybe not Genison. Anyway, these two companies uh, merged or one acquired the other uh, recently, and so this uh, product. This is the GV10 Lithium, uh, and this one specifically is for 12.8 volt lithium iron phosphate batteries, which is four cells in series, uh, 10 and a half amps is what this is rated for. So a couple things about the company before, before we get started. Uh, Jared is the guy that I've been working with. He's the one who sent this product to me. I'm very excited to work with him. I talked with him on the phone for a while. And, uh, and he kind of filled me in on the history of the company a little bit. The CTO of Genison is named Alex. It's kind of his business partner. Uh, Jared was brought on to kind of uh, grow the business and, and run the business a little bit. This is a U.S. company. Everything's made in the U.S. And um, in fact, there's their tech support guy, uh, Jared, was raving about. His name's Ryan. Email address is techsupport at blueskyenergyinc.com and this is supposed to be world-class support. Hopefully I won't need that, hopefully you won't need that, but you will get somebody in the U.S. Uh, backed uh, by a U.S. company that really wants to grow and enter this market. Uh, this particular product is made in Maine, uh, and then quality control is done in California. As far as the feature set, uh, pretty basic. It will only work with a lithium battery. Um, it's got most of the features you would expect, but it does not have low voltage disconnect. There is another model that does have that, but this particular one does not have that. Um, this is FCC certified, so it's one of the only ones on the market that provides no interference, uh, will not harm your, if you're a ham radio operator or somebody like that, this might be important. It will not interfere with other uh, radio uh, communications or anything like that. Provides no noise or anything. Uh, it is CE certified, it is row house, um, and it will be UL certified within the next few months. So anyway, enough about that. I'm sure you guys want to get to the nuts and bolts. What I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this out of the box without touching any settings whatsoever. I'm going to connect it. So here's what it looks like. If we can focus here. There we go. So it it's similar to Morningstar controllers that I've that I've used and that it's a sealed design um, and uh, it's definitely not like Chinese controllers that I've used. Um, for one thing, it has a serial number on it. Try finding a serial number on a Chinese controller. They, they want to pump these out and never support them again. It tells you when it was built, um, you know, all the different certifications, all that kind of stuff. Um, on the front, it's got some diagnostic uh, lights, which is common, and then it gives you the information right here. Um, anyway, it is a constant current, constant voltage charging profile for lithium, uh, and it does uh, provide 14.2 volts to to the battery. Um, it does have fairly small um, connectors here, these terminals, but that's okay because I mean this only handles 140 watts worth of solar, so you don't really need mega huge cables. They do, they are coming out with a bigger version of this that will compete with the uh, Midnight Classics of the world and so forth. So stay tuned for that maybe in the next year or so. Okay, so we got everything connected. Uh, let me zoom out and show you here. Uh, everything is connected to this panel, to that battery, and the charge controller. Now, um, it is blinking. That's going to be one of the challenges of, of videoing in broad daylight testing solar panel equipment is you can't see stuff like this. Uh, 
Okay, this has been running for a while and now it is indicating that it is fully charged. So what I did was I connected this up to the battery and to the solar panel and let it run for a little while. The battery was not very depleted, so it didn't take very long for this to fully charge it up. So it's now a solid green light indicating that it is full and it worked. I'll and I'll show you the voltage on the battery. is now 14.2 which is a full charge and that was very quick uh, that was very very fast the battery wasn't discharged very much at all it only been about a month since I had used it so uh, it didn't take very long at all for this to work now the point of this is this is a, a review video but also kind of a proof of concept video so I'm not going to do uh, in-depth testing on this charge controller I wanted to just verify its basic function. So a lot of you have, have uh, a lot of viewers anyway, maybe not some of the subscribers, but a lot of people have argued with me that there are charge controllers out there that will work with lithium and lithium is, is already available in solar, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I've been a little hesitant to declare that because I have not found any charge controllers that will work with, sol with lithium out of the box like this. You'll notice on this there are no dip switches, there's no configuration whatsoever. You can't change anything, it is what it is. And so all I had to do was open it up, connect it, boom, and it works. And that is a big thing for the solar industry because until now, all of the charge controllers that say that they support lithium, they'll do that, but you have to set your own parameters and it's a use at your own risk type of a proposition. This company will support this product. It, it, um, it stands behind this product and it is designed 100% only to work with lithium. And I think that's an industry first. I've been looking for years for something like this and finally found it. So I encourage you guys to check it out. I am going to do a follow-up video with a different product, which is a pulse width modulation uh, charge controller um, by a different company. So there will, there's an MPPT ver uh, offering out there and also a PWM uh, offering out there that you can use out of the box with lithium. Now one thing I wanted to mention before I finish, I obviously did not have a battery management system or BMS connected to this battery. Um, Genesun or Blue Sky definitely recommends that you use it with a BMS, uh, use this charge controller with a battery with a BMS, but uh, obviously you don't have to. I've shown that lithium iron phosphate is very stable. It's not going to blow up on you, and it uh, and something small like this, just a little 12 volt, three or four cell, excuse me, a battery doesn't need a battery management system as much. So, just a note there. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more videos about lithium in the future.